YouTube, I am here for my 15 week pregnancy update. So this week baby is as big as a navel orange and that's 4 inches and 2.5 ounces. So here's baby, my little orange baby. Let's see, so this week it says you probably can't feel it yet but she's squirming a ton. She might even be hiccuping in there and she's making lots of progress. Her joints and limbs can all move now. And so, let's see, going to my Ovia Pregnancy app, here's baby's hand, let's see, uh, there we go. So you can kind of see baby's hand's definitely getting bigger, I'm so excited, I love it. Uh, so, symptom-wise for me, uh, mostly just <laughs> being sick like this, I've been getting over a cold, um, so now it's really just like having like clearing out my system. I feel like I just have a bunch of gunk and like I'm coughing and sneezing and stuff a lot, but I feel a thousand times better. So that's good because I just, being sick while pregnant sucks because you really, I really don't want to take anything. And I've just been trying to use essential oils and take baths and Epsom salt and it's just been a lot. So I'm glad that I'm feeling better now. Uh, Every time that I say that my nausea or morning sickness is going away, it strikes the next day, so I'm not even going to say it. It's still here. Uh, <laughs> I definitely felt nauseous yesterday as well. Um, then I haven't gotten sick in, like, I think almost a week, but I've definitely still had some morning sickness. Um, what else? My energy level is definitely creeping back up slowly. Uh, it's not back to, like, my normal kind of mid-pregnancy uh, energy level where I had like lots of energy and the house was clean every day and like I didn't need to uh, I could like maybe take like maybe just a 20 minute nap like, not even a nap during the day and I would be fine but now I still would like to take a nap and I would still you know like to sleep in just a little bit and I don't <laughs> want to clean that much yet but that's definitely going to kick in soon I remember last time with Cole all I wanted to do was like clean my second trimester I just wanted to clean and make sure that everything was ready so hopefully that kicks in again soon um, what else? I had my doctor's appointment on Wednesday, and that went really well. There wasn't anything too crazy. Um, we heard baby's heartbeat again, which I had already been able to find, but my doctor found it. And Cole was there, so that was so cute. He could hear it. Um, yeah, my doctor said that everything was going well. I was measuring right on target, and so my next appointment is for five weeks from now, and that will have my ultrasound, my doctor ultrasound, but I am finding out the gender next week. Uh, there'll be one more video, I think, before I find out the gender because it's on a Saturday, and I'm going to try and film this again next Friday. Um, let's see what else. So, yeah, the doctor's appointment went really well. All was normal. They said my blood test came back normal. Uh, my doctor just reminded me to drink, like, as much water as possible, especially during the summer when it's getting hot out. Uh, yeah, so she said just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I did actually, she didn't mention anything about it, so I'm assuming that it's not too big of a deal, and I know that it is normal, like, you don't have to, like, spam me with comments, but I know that it's normal to, uh, lose a little bit of weight in your first trimester, especially if you're being sick and just being, having a lot of food aversions and all of that, but, um, <coughs> excuse me, so I have lost, like, I want to say, like, seven or eight pounds already, um, which is what happened with Cole, so again, I'm not too worried, and I gained more weight at the end with him, but I am going to try, keep walking and keep eating really healthy and uh, get as much exercise in as I can because I don't want to have to do a ton, a ton of exercise after I have the baby. I want to get my body back sooner rather than later. Uh, not that I have anything against post-pregnancy bodies. It's just for me being a dancer, I have to get my body back. Uh, so let me see what else is on or what else I wanted to say. Uh, oh yeah, my pregnancy pillow, which I loved at the beginning. I still love, but I have been getting so hot at night that I haven't even been able to use my pregnancy pillow because it just makes me feel like I'm surrounded by like a heater. And I just had to, it's like sitting out in the living room right now because every night it just makes me way too hot and I can't sleep without like a comforter and sheets on. Even if like, even if it's 90 degrees out, I probably have to be under a sheet and like a some kind of comforter. Like, I'm weird, but I have to be covered when I'm asleep. Uh, <laughs> so that's that. But, um, yeah, there's not really too much to update on. I'll do a belly shot in a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm, we're thinking, we're, we've been thinking over ideas for our gender reveal 
because Cody and I really want to find out together um, in the ultrasound room just because we didn't do that last time. We would like to find out and then have another little get together with our family to tell all of them at once. Uh, we are having one of my really good friends, Taylor, is going to come with us to our gender appointment because a long time ago I went to her gender appointment with her son, D, and I remember finding out that he was a boy and it was just so cute and I want her to be there this time with me. So she's hopefully going to be coming with us and then I have to call my best friend, Jen, who is, <coughs> excuse me, who's actually performing on a Disney cruise and luckily she ports on Saturday so I will be able to call her. She said she will be expecting a call. She'll be waiting. <laughs> so hopefully I will be able to call her uh, right after, if not, like, during. I would love to, like, FaceTime her during so that she, like, heard it at the same time as we did. But we'll see. So I'll definitely film our... I'll have Taylor film our reaction for finding out the gender. And then I'll do stuff for the... If we do a gender, like, party get-together, I'll film that. But otherwise, I will have one more video for my 16-week update. Hopefully, I'm posted next Friday. And this video will probably be coming out at the same time as my 14-week one because I filmed my 14-week one a while ago and I just completely forgot to edit it or even post it. So these will probably be going up around the same time. So, yeah, I will show you my belly. Hold on. Okay, so here's my belly shot from the front. My shirt on. You can see my belly button ring poking through again. From the side... On the other side, Keep the shirt up, on the front, belly button still getting bigger, the side, on the other side. So yeah, I definitely popped out a lot, but I love it, so. <laughs> so yeah. So there is my 15-week belly, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.